Hello everyone and welcome to Cricketing with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and thank you so much for joining me today. In today's tutorial, I am showing you how to make another timeless anniversary shirt. Now, if you missed my previous tutorial on anniversary shirts for couples, this is a shirt that I made the other day. I'll make sure to leave a link to this tutorial below. So my husband and I are getting ready to celebrate our fifth anniversary. And I like to typically make everything timeless so that it's not just limited to that year. So I would, I would probably not make a fifth anniversary shirt. I want a shirt that I can wear year after year. So this is an example of the one I, this is the one I just made in my previous tutorial. So this one just says Mr. on the front and it says together on the back and it says the number 20. And this is my shirt and it has misses on the front and on the back it says since 17. So the front and back, they go together to say together since 2017. This is a timeless shirt. I can wear this every anniversary if I want to. In this tutorial, I made another set of couple shirts because our anniversary is an exciting time for us and we will be taking a trip soon and we're going to be wearing these shirts. Okay, so my husband might say he doesn't do matching shirts, but he does, he does. Okay, so this is the shirt I made in this tutorial and I am super excited to share this with you. This is our sh another shirt that I made and it just says 7-7-2017, okay? So it's just our name, our wedding date in Roman numerals and I made the black one for my husband because I, I think I have enough black shirts. So I did the same design and on these shirts, I asked, I actually use Caesar Strip Flop Pro. In the tutorial, you will see me reference the Caesar HTV uh, guide. I'll try to link it below, um, but if not, you can also find it on the Caesar website. So at the end of this video, if you find this tutorial helpful, please consider liking this video, subscribing to my channel and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. So without further ado, let's get started. The materials I'm gonna use for this project include my Cricut Explore Air 2, my Cricut Easy Press, a green standard grip mat, two 100% cotton Gildan shirts, my pen pen weeding tool, and one sheet of Caesar Strip Flop Pro. Okay, let's move on over to Cricut Design Space. The first thing I'm going to do is go to this website that is called romannumerals.co forward slash date dash converter forward slash. Now, of course, it will be hard to remember that, but I will definitely have that website linked below in the description box. Once you get to this website, you can go and just choose your month, day and year. So our month would be July. Our day would be the seventh and our day, our year would be 2017. When I click on convert date, this is what our date would look like in Roman numerals. Okay, so I can copy this. I can right click on it and click copy. And then I can go to a website that is called wordmark.it and I can enter that just by clicking paste and I can see all of my font options for this date. So I'm going to hit the enter key on my keyboard. Wordmark.it is free. It's completely free. It's just a website that shows you all of your font options on your computer. Okay. Click that paste again, hit enter. And now I can kind of look at all of these font choices to see which one looks the most like what I want. So, so far I see this one called, I won't even, I know I won't say it right, Bond Shrift. I can click on that one to select it and kind of still look through the other font choices that I have to see if there are any others that really stand out to me. Um, I kind of like this one. I like how thick it is. Okay, I'm still looking. I kind of like this one also, but it's a little bit too thin. I definitely like Britannic. I definitely like Britannic. So if I had to just choose now, Britannic would be my choice. But let me just look through all of my options.
Ooh, not gonna go with Britannic. Even though I kind of like Britannic. I kind of like Britannic. Maybe this one is a little bit too thick. I am definitely going to go with, ooh, I am going to go with, oh, this is tough. I am in Cricut Design Space and I'm connected to my Cricut Explore Air 2. The first thing I'm going to do is grab a text box and then I am going to change my font to made Tommy. Remember that was the one that I decided when I was looking at wordmark.it. I do have my caps lock on. I'm going to keep it on for the duration of this tutorial. I am going to click in the text box and type in the letters that will represent our date. So I'm going to type in V I I space um, period space V I I space period space M M X V I I. Okay. And that is what our name will look like in Roman num or not our name, but our date will look like in Roman numerals. Now, if you remember the dot was not down at the bottom, it wasn't aligned to the bottom. The dot was actually aligned to the middle. So it's typically in most font choices, it's called a middle dot. But I think in the made Tommy font is called, um, it might be called a bullet. So I am going to go to the character map UWP, which is already installed on my computer. It's a free app. I'll leave a link below to that video where I demonstrated how to find that. This is what character map UWP looks like. This is the made Tommy font. It has 354 characters. One of those characters is um, what's called a bullet. So it looks like this is already selected. I can click copy right here. And then I can go over to Cricut Design Space and I can click back in there. I can delete the period that's there and do control V, control V as in Victor, and insert that bullet instead of the period. So I can backspace and do control V and there it is. Okay, so I want it like that instead of how it was and I'm in love with this so far. Now I'm going to grab a t-shirt template. I'm going to go and grab the one that's classic t-shirts. I am going to change the size to a men's short sleeve um, extra large. The color will be black. I'm going to click up here in between these two zeros and remove those grid lines. I'm going to change the color of the text to red because I'm using red strip flop pro. And then I'm going to move my text over to the center of the shirt and I'm going to resize it. The largest I can make the width of this text is 11.5 without having to go to a 12 by 24 cutting mat. So I am going to go ahead and unlock right here in the top of my screen. I'm going to click on unlock and I'm going to change the width to 11.5. Now, if I want to make it wider, I would have to use a longer mat. I don't want to use a longer mat. I'm also going to change the height. I'm going to change the height. I'm just going to go up until I like the size of it. Um, let's see if I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. I really, really like that. But let me see if I want to go a little bit bigger. Okay, 2.5. I like that. Let me check one more text option. Now we did look at those um, font choices in wordmark.it, but I want to see what this would look like. Let me duplicate this and see what it would look like if my text was impact. Ooh, let me unlock it and change it to 11.5 by, was that 
2.5. And now I have to decide which one I like the best. I actually can't decide. I think. Wow. And now I'm ready to click make it. Oh, that was a tough decision. Okay, but I made it. I made it. All right, and I'm going to move this down. Now, Strip Flock Pro is heat transfer vinyl. So I definitely know that I need to mirror this. I want to turn on the mirror and I am going to click continue. And I'm connecting to my Cricut Explore Air 2 via Bluetooth. And I am going to choose the everyday iron on setting and I'm going to choose more pressure and everything that I'll do from here will be back on the camera. I'm going to get the Strip Flock Pro loaded onto my green standard grip mat with the backing sheet face down on the mat. I'm gonna cut away the excess vinyl to be used for another project. And I'm gonna to start to get this weeded out. Hopefully you can tell how nicely and easily that weeded. So this is the design, 7-7-2017. And the Strip Flop Pro does really, it feels, just like velvet and i'm sure it's going to um, press nicely so let's get this pressed according to the caesar htv application instructions caesar strip flock pro can be used with a household iron and it can be used with an easy press so the directions say cut and reverse weed excess preheat garment for two to three seconds Apply design at 311 degrees Fahrenheit. Apply with an easy press at approximately 30 degrees. So I'm gonna set my easy press to 340 degrees. Use medium pressure for 10 to 15 seconds. Peel carrier warm. So I have my heat press, you heard it beep. It's already heating up. The washing instructions or the laundering instructions say wait 24 hours before first Wash, machine wash warm or cold with mild detergent. Do not bleach or dry clean. Dry on your normal dryer settings, okay? So I have my heat, uh, heat press mat right here and I have my first shirt. I have decided to use a white shirt for myself. I think I've made enough black shirts for the whole millennium. So I'm just gonna use a white shirt for this time right here. I'm gonna go ahead and fold it in half and get my crease down the middle. If you missed it, these um, Cricut heat press mats were on sale, easy press mats were on sale on Amazon for $7.19. I'll put a link below just in case they're still on sale. Today's date is July uh, 2nd, 2022 at the time of recording. So hopefully if you click on that link below, below this video, you'll still see them and they will still be on sale. All right. Go ahead and press this. And I'm just going to eyeball it. Just going to eyeball this and hope that it is even. Oh my. And instead of moving my easy press, I'm gonna press it for 15 seconds with medium pressure and then pick it up and then press it again for 15 seconds with medium pressure. Now I'm gonna be honest and let you know that I am a little bit leery of this because 
I don't use my easy press very often. I do feel like you have to have a lot of pressure. So I'm going to check this. Oh, it looks really good. <laughs> it looks really, really good, but I just feel like I want to press it one more time. I am going to give it one more press just to be on the safe side because you know if you have an easy press, you have to really, really press. And I'm going to really, really press just to be on the safe side. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So this is my shirt. You already know what I'm gonna say. You already know what I'm going to say. So I won't tell you that I love it because you already know I'm going to say I love it. So I won't say I love it. There we go. There we go. Another timeless design. I love it. What am I going to say? I love it. The way these turned out. If you find this tutorial helpful, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Thank you so much for joining me today and thanks for watching. Bye.